Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to calculate linear feet. These will be some easy instructions, so let's get right into the video. I know what you're thinking. Why do you have blank sheets of paper in front of you, Michael? Well, the truth is Michael is going to tell you and show you how to do it. So I'm going to use this paper um, to show you. Now, my name is Michael. I call myself Mike, but my name is Michael. That's why I keep saying that. So anyways, let's get into the video. So essentially, to calculate linear feet is actually pretty easy. Um, a linear foot is one foot in length. Linear means like in a line. So one foot in length. So let's say I have one foot in length. Let's say that's one foot right there. Imagine, then that would be one linear feet, okay? One linear foot. Let's say I had this line, and this is seven feet across. That would be seven linear feet, okay? So essentially, to calculate linear feet, you can add the numbers together. So let's say that I had uh, the perimeter of a room, and on the perimeter of a room, it was a rectangle, a perfect rectangle, okay? And then within the perimeter of the room, we had one wall that was uh, 40 feet long, another wall that was 20 feet long, and then obviously another wall that's 40 feet long, another wall that's 20 feet long. So we have a wall that's 40 feet long, a wall that's 20 feet long, another wall that's 40 feet long, and another wall that's 20 feet long. We can add these numbers together. 40 plus 40, the top and the bottom is 80, plus 20 over here is 100, plus another 20 is 120. So that would be 120 linear feet, okay? 120 linear feet. So basically you can measure and then just add those numbers together. That's how you calculate linear feet, okay? Now, if you have your measurement in inches, it's similar, just one extra step. So essentially, one foot is 12 inches long. So when you measure your total number of inches, you can just divide that number by 12. So let's say I measured, and I have 144 inches, okay? I have 144 inches. With those 144 inches, I can divide them by 12, okay? So 144 inches divided by 12 is actually equal to 12. So 12 is how many linear feet I have, okay? So you can just measure the feet and then add them together and that's how many linear feet you have. Or you can measure the inches and divide them by 12 and that's how many linear feet you have because one foot is 12 inches long, okay? Now, the reasoning behind um, your measurement also plays a role in measuring linear feet because Let's say you're measuring for renovation or construction purposes and you're measuring how much trim you need. So like how much shoe molding or how much baseboard you need, right? You might measure that a wall is, let's say, um, nine feet, okay? But maybe the trim that you're getting comes in eight foot portions. So really you need an eight foot portion and an additional piece of trim. You can't get a nine foot piece of trim, let's imagine. You can only get them in portions of eight feet. So you need an eight foot portion and an additional piece of trim. And then obviously you have to make it work. Or you get a 10 foot and you cut off one foot off of the 10 foot to make it nine feet. And that one foot is just scrap wood. So you need to count that as scrap. So it depends on the reasoning why um, you're measuring linear feet. If you're measuring for something that has set proportions, it's going to be different than just measuring to take a measurement for something like wallpaper or something like that, right? So just keep that in mind. But that is essentially it. That is how to calculate linear feet. Easy instructions. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.